you know, the the gasoline, the fuel that keep it going. Yeah. When it's really a rush time, when it's full, and you have like, give me this, you're missing this, it's, and you finish, you say, wow, that was great. Dean Silver again for today's World Kitchen. Absolutely thrilled to be working with Roxana Garcia this morning. What's special about Roxana is that she's our very first female chef on today's World Kitchen. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Now, you just told me before that you're from Venezuela. Yes, I am. How does a little girl from Venezuela finish up in Miami as the executive chef of Cultura? Cultura restaurant, yes. Well, I studied um, culinary in Venezuela. Yep. But what brought me here is the situation in my country. It's not good. It's not good, but not get political right now. But <laughs> when I get here, well, what, I, what, I not, what I knew to do was cook. Okay. And I love to cook. So I started to look in kitchens, to work in kitchens. And well, I passed for a few kitchens and then I end up here. And I'm very happy about it. You've been with Fabian for quite a t some time now? Yeah, we have uh, like a year and a half. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited because this is a different kitchen. It's a high standard kitchen. Um, and I'm here working by him and learning from here, from him. That's great. Yes. He's a very good chef. It is. Yep. It's N kind and strict as it should be in the kitchen, but he likes to teach. So that's awesome. You think he, do you think that um, apart from the fact that he's a good chef, he, he teaches you many things? Yeah, he, he cares about the people in the kitchen, not about only myself. And he's always preoccupied on if you're good, what you want to do. He involves people and do activities like this. And, and that's awesome because I think as my he grows, everybody grows with him. He told me that he involves the other chefs in the kitchen when you're developing dishes. Yeah, that is very true. Um, and he also take you to events that he is invited as a secret chef, but he take you with and he give you the recognition if you do something, and that's pretty great. Do you do you enjoy that creative collaboration with him when you're making new dishes? Yeah, I absolutely love it because he has a long experience, and I'm here taking all I can. When did, um, how old do you think you were when you first fell in love with cooking? How old? Yeah. Well, I think I was, I was not that young because first I studied a business administration. Yep. And then I studied culinary because I didn't like what I studied before. So I think I kind of knew that I loved to cook when I moved by myself. Okay. When I moved from home, and I started to cook, I well, I know how to cook, how so? So I started to cook for me and my friends. And then I said, I'm gonna study this. And I did, and since then I haven't been able to stop since 2011. Was there a particular person in your life that first introduced you to cooking? Well, I got, I, I start like a little business of events and that partner, um, how you said, socio partnership yep. with uh, someone, uh, we start to make catering because she tastes my food and said, oh, but you're good. You should be able to do catering for parties. So I started doing catering for parties and I never stopped. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Now, it's a really stressful job. It is, but it's it's kind of weird. I love that kind of stress. You like the stress? Yeah, it's like um, you know the the gasoline, the fuel that keep it going. Yeah. When it's really a rush time, when it's full, 
and you have like give me this you missing this it's and you finish you say wow that was great so you enjoy the rush i really enjoy the rush so you work maybe 10 12 hours a day yeah <laughs> for say the least <laughs> and when you finish at the end of the day do you have any troubles switching off well at first because you are so many you have so many energy that you cannot it's like you're going home and you're like, what but then i get used to it i relax you can relax you just switch off yeah i switch off what do you when you aren't working what do you like to do for enjoyment for fun well um i like go to eat that's weird right yeah you like to go out and eat no to eat Oh, uh, okay. Some restaurants. Yeah. I, I like to go to new restaurants and see how it is. Okay. And taste different flavors. And maybe someone said, uh, that restaurant from some chef, whatever, is good. Well, I go and I try. What's, what sort of food do you enjoy going out to eat? Well, Mediterranean food is one of my favorites. Mediterranean, yeah. Yeah, I love it. I think it's a mix of everything. Yep. Well, and luckily here in Cultura we have uh, that mix. We are Latin American food with a little bit of Mediterranean yes. touch. When you go out for dinner, yeah. Do you are you critical? No, not that much. No. I, I'm really understanding. Well, if I don't like something, I said it. Uh, but I'm not like picky of oh, every little, little details well it depends if you are in a really expensive restaurant and you're hoping to have a really wow experience maybe so but i like to enjoy the food it's a, if i don't really like it i'd say it but i'm not picky it's, it's, this onion is not very good or uh, whatever no i'm not like that i enjoy food do you so you draw inspiration from going out to other restaurants? You get ideas for different yeah. dishes. Yeah, it happened to me that I'm being wow. Look at they do this. We have to try something similar. Yeah, it happened to me sometime. And then you bring it into work, and then you talk to Fabian. Yeah, when we do a specials, but we have a we are, we have our menu, but when we have a special or events, I. There's a place where creativity goes, and he told me, he told me, maybe maybe we do this, and I said, if we do it like this, because I saw a place, can we try? Do you know how? Let's do it, and he's always open. That's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? That's really fantastic. So that creative process for you, that's that's part of the joy. Yeah, it's part of the joy. Most of the thing that I enjoy the most is the organization <laughs> yeah yeah I'm really organized and clean and methodic you know yeah and I don't like to get bored so I have to supervise everything but I like to get in line too so sometimes I said oh have you take your break I uh, know why you why don't you go and take your break I cover you <laughs> and I go jump into the line and I cook because otherwise, I don't know, I don't like to lose it. Okay. I like to, to be in that ticket thing, how it goes, where we go, what term. Is meeting well, is it not? I like it. Very good. Uh, now, there are quite a few women that work in this kitchen. Yes, that is part of my fault too. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, because... Um, most of the team that we work with used to work with me in another place. So um, I try to bring people that is good to the team. And I think it's a coincidence that almost everybody is ladies. It's, it's quite special, really. Yeah, but they do an amazing job, so I don't see the, the difference. So you've worked with some of these women in another place. Yeah, and some of the guys too. And some of the guys. Mm -hmm. 
how important do you think it is to have that team mentality? Well, that is the deal. Create team because I cannot do it by myself. Yeah. And Chef cannot do it alone. And well, like I know them and they are good cooks and good people. Well, I talked to the chef and said, you want to interview someone? Okay, I got you. And he interviewed, he liked it. That's fantastic, isn't yes. it? Yes. And they really, it's like family because we are here 10, 12 hours a day. And I almost every day touch the two teams, you know? I connect with the t morning team and then I connect with the PM team. But they all synchronize and they get along because they used to know each other too. Yeah. I think we have quite a special team now. It feels that way. When yeah, you walk great. into the kitchen, it does feel that way. It, f it does feel like a really tight, tight unit. And that shows in the food. Yes. Because they know individually worker. They like to do the job good, as it should. Because we have a purpose to get food to the table, no matter who is behind the table. So if I'm doing something wrong or missing something, someone step by and say, you need something? You want me to cut something for you? That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. We got our backs together. So. Yes. It feels that way when you walk into the kitchen. I'm really glad you said it. Yeah. Because it's nice. Nice to know it. It's a f it is... Yeah, I mean, without sounding corny, it does feel like a real family unit mm -hmm. in, in the kitchen. Yeah. And so Fabian does other work or does events, outside catering, and he involves you in that as well? Yeah, I'm with him in all those events. Yeah. And when we can, we involve one of the kitchen at a time. I mean, uh, it said, who we take with us today? So I said, oh, maybe Fabiana, or maybe Joyce, or maybe Lule, um, or maybe one of the guys. Yeah. So everyone gets to everyone gets involved. Yeah. And I, it's difficult, but we try to hang out outside, do something different outside the the work. But it's difficult of, because of the um, schedule times. Yeah. But we try, and that is important. Yeah. And we laugh a lot. You do? Yeah, we laugh a lot. It seems to me um, that you're very busy. It's a busy, busy restaurant. It is a busy restaurant, thank God. But you still all seem to have fun. Yeah, it's, I think it's part of that, that uh, they feel comfortable with each other and they do their job and I let them play music. And we do a lot of family meals. Yeah. And we share it together. I'm really, I'm really happy about it. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. What um, predominantly mm -hmm. this industry is made up of male chefs? Yes. I know that. <laughs> so, for a female chef to be sous chef at a big, busy restaurant here in Miami, that's pretty special. Well, yeah. I've... I feel it's kind of special because it's really hard to get here. Yes. Well, it was hard for me before when I used to work in a lot of places. I work with only men. And I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's tradition. It used to be like that. Sometimes um, we take time to break those paradigms, you know? Yep. But... Um, chef is not like that. He's, I had, as I told you before, he's inclusive. So he see what he see. He like the, the job, the work yeah. that I do, and I took it. Well, I really, uh, I worked really hard to get it. So I think it would be fair to say that you've had to work even harder than the men to get to where you are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm stronger or better than anybody because I'm learning from every single people that I have upstairs. But 
I work really hard, hard than maybe other others. What um, what advice would you have? This is special for me. What advice would you have for other young girls trying to become chefs, trying to be you? Well, my first advice is I'm I'm really true to myself. Yep. And I'm honest with everybody. So I said things how I feel every day. I'm not behind the bushes and said, mm, I don't, he's going to take it wrong, he's going to take it bad, she's going to take it. No, I said it. Yeah. I'm, I'm clear. I'm crystal clear. So for me, that is a good advice and realize that kitchen are tough, but it's not personal, it's work. Right. So get there, do the job right. as best as you can. Ask if you don't know something, learn from it, and that's it. And enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. What about, um, do you foresee yourself one day being the executive chef? Yes, of course. I would like that. I yep. like, yeah, I see myself. Um, I have like two ways. Maybe I see myself as a executive chef of a restaurant, or I kind of have a one in my own place in the future. Okay. I have those two variations of the, that same situation. But yes, I would love to, to get to be as high as a, a circuit chef. I really, wow. I really like that. Would you consider yourself being um, driven? Mm -hmm. As in, you're very motivated? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't see myself do it. I don't see myself doing anything else than cooking or working in the kitchen. Wow. In my entire life. You know, I work with people that are good cooks and said like, well, I'm tired. I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. And I get it. Sometimes you want to retire. Yeah. But I don't see it. You just love it. Yeah. I don't see it. I don't feel it. Yeah. And I, I think I'm going to be here as long as, I don't know, God Per permitted, yeah. You are, uh, there is one absolute fact that I can state, and that is you are extremely passionate about what you do. Yeah, I am passionate. I am a passionate person. You know, I kind of realized that like uh, almost two years ago, someone said it to me, and I said, like, I was always too busy to notice, I guess. And someone said it to me, hey, you are too passionate. Cool down a little bit. So what? Yeah, I am. I'm passionate about it. So I get all red if something likes me or dislikes me. And um, I talk a lot when when I want to do something that is really exciting to me. Yeah. Um, that shows. It kind of shows. I cannot hide it. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Well, look, I just want to say thank you very much for coming on and congratulations. You should be extremely proud of yourself. Well, I give myself a pat in the back. <laughs> very good. Very good. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. And thank you very much, please. Roxana Garcia. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.